gonna do a little work on the green machine back at the old cab over I want you to check this out after I got this truck home I got a look in I showed you guys this tire when I drove home on that's pretty scary looking but the other thing I didn't see is when we opened the hood we said hey what are those vice grips for and uh, we got a look in and there's some uh, parts missing you could say it's like some things rusted out were not addressed check this out what do you think of that I think it's still good maybe I can put a pancake in it rebuild it no so we're gonna change that out put that brake back together and then uh, also in this video we're gonna change these front tires both sides get back with you okay first thing we're gonna do safety glasses gotta have safety glasses when you work in a shop take off all the lug nut covers uh, we're going to uh, Get a little oil on the threads. Ooh. Hey, I'm doing a video. Yes, you are. You're walking right in on it. Well, those are harder than I thought to get off. I thought these were the take are you, are you taking a video? Yes, I am. It's going right now. Don't be talking. That was Maximus, my six year old. <laughs> this tool. It's actually made for a smaller size, but it's the only one I got. Got the job done. That's all that matters. Got a couple of these left to get off. Destroyed it, but got it. Up. We don't care about destroying it. Let me jack the truck up. One moment.
These have been off in a while. So we are going to oil these. And uh, when you see how dry rotted these front tires are, you'll know why I bought two new ones. <laughs> the inside of them have cracks this wide all the way around. I'm a little afraid of it having air in it right now. But. Uh, I'll let the air out here in a minute. Wow. I'm going to get back with you. Let me take all these lug nuts off. Okay, these have an L on the stud, left-handed thread, not right-handed, left-handed. Got to tighten it to take it off.
I want you guys to fully grasp how dry rod these tires are. Thank the good Lord I made it home. Look at them. Um, uh, those are about ready to blow. Detonation ahead. Hang tight, I'm going to take that apart next. Okay. Tires off. Tires off. Welcome back. And it's safe. I let the air out of it. That thing was scary. I can't believe I drove it home with that tire. Junk missing out of it. Dry rotted like that. The other side's just as bad. Find me a hammer. Brakes already backed off. Give it a whack. got a wheel seal leaking. Yep. But the uh, brakes actually look good. It's going to require a little bit of attention. I don't know if I got a wheel seal. I might. We're going to have to look in the old stash. Okay. Put that aside right now. Now we're going to be looking at these brakes. already unthreaded this. Threads come out. Or, you know, it come unthreaded fine. This is junk. Okay. Big ball. We're back. Took about uh, two or three days to find the right wheel seal for old Big Green. Here was the wheel seal I took out. Obviously the rubber is gone. And then I got a couple national seals cross-referenced to the same number. Look at these seals. They don't look anything alike. So, and it wouldn't fit over the seal surface. So I don't know why national, but it's a wrong seal. I got two of them, gotta go back to map. Luckily, I found this Voyager Stemco seal, which I've used Stemco many, many times. 3830139, and it fits perfect. Let me tell you how to check if the seal fits. I'll show you. First thing you do is check the inside of the seal on the inside of the seal surface right here. Oh yeah, fits right up on there perfect. You wanna be gentle. Then you check if it fits in the hub right there, oh yeah gonna fit perfect in the hub. So we're gonna install the seal and we'll install the hub. It's very important. We cleaned our bearings and we uh, re-oiled our bearings. An all new 90 weight. 
Throw that in there. Don't forget to put the bearing in. I know you'd say, that could never happen. Bet me. Okay, let's get the seal ready to put in. Got the seal dryer. Let's see here. We'll put silicone on the seal. Just the way I was taught to put a wheel seal in. Put the silicone on the outside of the seal. Right there. In. Put the seal in. Seal. Get that in there straight. Okay. Need a hammer. Got my corresponding seal driver. Get a real hammer. Me like we're down. Alright. I like that. Here is our inner bearing. We'll need that in a minute. The next step, what we always do, that's the way I was taught to do it. Take a little silicone. And then put it right on the edge of this. This is your seal surface, right here, where the seal, where the surface that the seal runs on, right here, right on the edge of it. We put a little bit of silicone. Right on the edge, nothing too fancy. What it does is it lets that seal ride up on there, and the silicone is actually a lubricant. And then it seals, if there's any imperfections in this uh, surface, which, you know, it has 750,000 miles on it, it possibly could have a deviation, I would think. Doesn't matter. A little silicone, good to go. Put the hub on it. Your outer bearing in there. There we go. Keep it all square. Okay. Let's get our washers on there. Big flat. Not beat up nut. Got your inner nut. 
and your outer nut. Now, uh, you gotta run this down pretty tight. Make sure that seal is seated all the way. Then you put your jam nut, lock it down. Pushing that seal on all the way to the back. All right, until it just about stops. Now, if you try turning it, oh, I can't turn the bearing because it's too tight. We're gonna loosen it up a little. But I know the seal is seated. That's the most important. And uh, if you ask how tight to put it, I don't know what to tell you. I just know how tight it goes. Well, I tightened it down, I backed it off an eighth. That was a little too loose. Went back a little bit. It feels good right there. If you want a little bit of tension on it, and you don't want it to chuck side to side at all. That's good. And then, you take this old beat up washer. It's got a little flat spot on it. You line that up with the flat of the nut. And it's got another little flat spot right here that lines up with the flat spot on the shaft. Slide that baby on. Oh, yeah. And lucky for us, it goes over a flat on the bottom. Then, take your inner nut, or your outer nut, put that on there, and, uh, come on, Paul. And then this one, Put as tight as I possibly could humanly put it because you don't want it coming loose, that's for sure. I need the torque on it, torque spec's like 300. This is a one inch drive breaker bar, so it's going to be pretty tight. <clears throat> that, my friend, is tight enough. Okay. Next thing you're supposed to do is bend one of these over the flats. Bend it forward. So. Pretty easy. I think it's been bent before. This way, all the old trucks were. And you know what? It never, never was a problem. The new one's got fancier stuff, but as that washer's pushing down, locking that on, we're good. Ain't pretty, but it'll do the job. All right, inner bearing. 
We have wheel seal, inner bearing, outer bearing. We've got to put the hub cap back on. It looks like there's actually still a gasket here. Not bad, not ruined. I think we're going to try to use it. Why not? Wasn't leaking. Alright. I'm going to get the cap out of the uh, parts cleaner and uh, get it cleaned up. So then I'll turn the camera back on. And we'll put that on, put the drum on. And we still gotta put the pancake and uh, the clevis, connect the slack adjuster, and uh, and yeah, put it together. So, we're getting, half, we're halfway there. Okay. Okay. I assume you guys know how to cut the 5 8 shaft, put the clevis on. I had to switch it from the side to the back. No big deal. So now we're going to put it on. I like to put the, the side to the inside, that way there's nothing in the way over here. Oh, yeah. let me take that clevis back off. So don't go through the hole. Okay, well, hopefully you guys can see what's going on. I imagine so. Okay, I'm put that on that ankle. Looks good. Start dropping everything. Okay, can't use a washer in there. Get a washer. Get a wrench. No, it's been cold today.
Okay, well, I can't wait to have this thing safe to drive around the block. All right, let's give it a good pull. Okay, we got it. Where'd my clevis fall to? There it is. All right. Thread on the jam nut. Let's thread on our clevis. <clears throat> Come on. That's a good rule of thumb. You always want to have the full depth of the threads in the shaft. That's about right there. Okay. Alright, I'm going to get back with you. I'm going to hook this to this, adjust the brake, hook up the airline, and we'll put the drum on. It'll only take a little bit. Okay, we're back. Without great struggle, finally found the right size wrench. Got this tightened up. Got the pin and the clavis through the slack adjuster. It's all put together. So, I would put on the airline. It's right in there. into the, uh, oh, I can't remember what that fitting is called. It goes through the frame. Uh, I can't remember. Anyways, I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments. But, uh, tighten that up first before you put it in the pink, or on the pink. Pancake in. That almost, that almost did it. It almost did it. Okay, then turn this baby back around. This end got the swivel. Oh, that looks good. Okay, looks good. I like that. Okay. Now, the brakes will work on this wheel. Cleaned off the brake shoes. Let's put on the hubcap.
gasket's still here, so we're just going to reuse it. That washer either. Uh, I get two new washers. Okay, two more five sixteenths lock washers. And we'll have this hub on. And we'll fill it with oil. Put the drum on. Probably be it for the rebuild of this brake, and uh, I'll get back with you when I do the other side, put the front tires on, and then let you see it all completed. Because if you break them off in the hub, then you got to get them out. And I've seen guys ruin hubs because they can't get a broken bolt out. And then it leaks. they got to decide if, how much they want to spend to fix it. This hub right here could be three to $500. New. You don't want to ruin it. All right, putting it on the ground. back in that bearing. It's going to take a couple hours to run back. We'll check it in a little while. Okay, everybody. 
we're back. We're gonna get this uh, front wheel assembly and all this wrapped up with the uh, tire back on. I wanna show you what we did so you can check it out. Um, I put the new hose on, put the new pancake on, new clevis. It's gonna all work perfect. Clean the brakes up, did the wheel seal. Put the hub cap back on. Put new oil in there. Just right. That on the ground is a little balancing. Uh, it balances the wheel assembly. I have them on other trucks. So we're going to put that back on. I mounted up the new tire. I'll try to kick in a video of it. It was bad, dry rotted, but you know how tire changing goes. Pretty straightforward. So let's get her done. Let me put it in the... Okay. Hope everybody can see good. I think that's gonna be just fine. Stay there, let me get a bar. So, uh, I know you guys probably already know this, but we can't adjust the brake. Right here. Feel the drum is pushed down all the way by the wheel and tire assembly. Then the drum is squared up to the hub, and then you can adjust everything. We'll get to that. This little tab sticking out is where your uh, valve stem goes. That's how it was. That's how we're going to put it back. So, no problem. Slide that right on. And the uh, barrel stems are already on top. Hmm. Roll that over there. Oh, there's a little more. Okay, that's good enough. I like to just use a straight bar. I got those other tools, but this gets it done. And threads, so you got to turn it loosey to tighten them. How all the trucks used to be. This way, when you're going down the road, it's not trying to loosen the lug nuts. That was the theory, but. wheel up and I'll adjust the brake and then this side's going to be done and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side but I'm not going to film it all it will be the same thing wheel seal brake chamber airline new front tire and uh I'm just trying to get this truck right now where it's roadworthy I'm not diving into the total restoration I want to clean it get some degreaser do some hot sea pressure washing on this thing. I got air filters coming tomorrow. Uh, I mean, even the coolant filter is dated 8, 17 of 10. So it's been a few years since that was changed. But I'm going to service the whole truck. But, uh, you know, these front tires, this uh, pancake, you know, falling off, completely made it unsafe to drive. So... That's step one. Make it safe to drive. At least that way I can uh, move it around. I want to drive it over uh, and show my parents. So. Oh, 
Boy, that one's fighting me. Let's try him over here. Oh. There we go. There we go. Man, somebody sure liked the NICs. Yikes. Well, let me turn some airline on. channel. Please. Paul is out.